welcome back to a year of Final Fantasy, our 30th anniversary retrospective, and we are in the month of Shiva right now. So today we're going to be talking about the Four Heroes of Light released for the DS. It was released in October of 2010, and it was created as a callback to the original Final Fantasy as a sort of spin-off, even bearing the name Final Fantasy Gaiden in Japan. The game is reminiscent of Final Fantasy 3 and 4 that came out on the DS before this, with its 3D type of graphics that are in their own kind of art style. Despite this game being a sort of callback to the original game, the main characters do have proper names and a little bit of a story associated with them. Of course, you can change the names as you wish, just like in the earlier Final Fantasy. A rather welcome return is that battles are styled in the traditional early JRPG standards that you would have seen at the time. This game also returns to the classic job system that we know to be in Final Fantasy. However, this time it's under the name of the quote-unquote crown system. The story falls into the classic fairy tale pseudo medieval adventure that you would expect for games again released near the beginning of this JRPG uprising. And Brant is the de facto main hero and he wakes up on his birthday and it's a coming of age story that we've all seen and heard a million times before but it still does it in such a way that it's memorable and it's a very very nice throwback to the early JRPGs. It's clearly what this game was made for and what they really did capture with it. Nothing here is gonna be blowing your mind, nothing's really new quote unquote, but it's done in a very nice manner. As Square Enix wanted to make a callback to the early JRPG standards, we also see a sort of glimmer or hint that they want to continue with these traditional style games on the DS and 3DS. And this game is actually a project in and unto itself. It's special as it led us to the spin-off series that many of you might be aware of, which is Bravely Default and Bravely Second. Now I've been kind of going back and forth on whether I want to put those games in this Final Fantasy retrospective, and I think I will uh, at some point later on down the line. Bravely Default and Bravely Second are some of the most successful current handheld RPGs, and again, they all owe it to this particular game. The Four Heroes of Light was generally well received, but it wasn't necessarily a massive hit like a proper Final Fantasy game. Some may say this game's shallow, and I can understand that sentiment, but I would prefer to call it maybe like a classic game that captures the essence of what Final Fantasy was in its early days. If you're looking for a classic return to old school JRPGs, get Final Fantasy Four Heroes of Light. You cannot go wrong if that's what you're looking for. Next time we'll be looking at the anime Final Fantasy Unlimited, and to close out the month we're going to be looking at what we've been leading up to, the game itself. Final Fantasy.